Welcome to my third video of my Chinese fountain pen collection. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Asfine P20, which is the best $28 fountain pen currently on the market, in my opinion. The P20 first became available in October 2022. And in fact, I liked my first 20 P20 Ocean Blue so well that I ordered two more colors, the Galaxy and the Amber, and here they are. Since I already had a medium nib in the ocean blue pen, I ordered these two pens with fine nibs. The Asfine P20 is very similar in design to the Leonardo Momento Zero and that they both have the conical end finials. And a, a, a very similar, but not identical, clip. And they both have gold accent, accent rings on the piston knob of the P20 and the converter access cap on the Leonardo. The P20 is a piston filler pin, while the Leonardo is a cartridge converter pin. And finally, the two designs differ with the P20 having a wide gold colored cap band with a Greek key design, while the Leo has the three gold-plated accent rings on the cap band. The cap unscrews in two turns. and reveals a gold-toned nib that has some nice scroll work around the edges. The Asfine name engraved at the base of the nib and a circle in the middle with an F for fine. The P20, of course, also has and ink window. The cap does post, but it posts on the piston knob and makes for a ridiculously long pin. So why would you do that? For the writing sample, I'm using a new notepad that I got on Amazon for $11.81. It's the Erofel notepad from a Japanese company called Sakai.
at first glance, it's a sleek, heavily coated paper. But it does show the ink colors well and the ink swatches very well. And so far, I haven't experienced any bleed through. The P20 Ocean Blue is inked with Monte Verde Caribbean Blue, which is a very reliable, trouble-free ink with no shimmer, sheening, or shading. This Iosvine P20 Ocean Blue is an extremely smooth writer with this medium nib. And this is the actually the first time that I have written for any extended period in this Eroful notebook. And I am very, very pleased with the way that it shows the ink color. And I said that the Monte Verde ink didn't have any shading, but it does on this Eroful paper. While the ink is still wet, I'm seeing it shading from dark to light blue. It is very, very pretty. The Amber P20 is inked with a new to me ink which is the Pilot Hiroshizuku Kujaku. Kujaku is an ink that when you first swatch it, it swatches as a dark teal blue. And as it dries, it becomes this lovely, what I would describe as an emerald green color with a slight bit of red shading. This ink surprised me. I didn't expect that color change out of it. And you can also see shading in the writing as well. I really like this ink. It could become my new favorite ink for 2024.
I think that dry start at the beginning of my writing sample was due to the way that I had the nib tilted. And I've been praising the P20 with the medium nib for the smoothness of its writing. But now, after writing with the fine nib, I will place the fine nib P20 right up there alongside the medium nib for being a fine, smooth writing pen. I was really astonished. This is the first time that I have written with this pen, and that probably accounts for a couple of the skips on the downstroke that I had in my writing sample, and the fact that I was trying to film at the same time as writing, which any of you who have attempted it know is not easy. But I am just in love with this nib on this pen. And I'm in love with the Kujaku, Kujaku ink. So, about the Kujaku ink, I noticed after it dried and I saw the color change that happened with it, I realized that I also had another ink that is very similar in color. And that is the Birmingham Pen Company's Jade Inferno. They both have the same, to me, an emerald green color. And the Jade Inferno also has red shading, although it doesn't show on this card but you can see that there is a similarity with the kujaku being a little bit greener in the spectrum so there you have it my three asvine p20 fountain pens what do you think which color and nib size do you like the most and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the fourth installment in this series, which just may be on the new Hong Dian N24 pen, if it arrives in anything like a timely manner. Stay warm, everyone, and thank you for watching.